Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this is a video to show you some amazing garden plants I got recently. Oh and there's one for the greenhouse as well. So here I am with the four wonderful new plants I want to talk to you about and anyone who's been watching my channel will remember that very recently Germany where I visited a camellia greenhouse and everything was in full flower and I was really smitten with a whole load of those plants so it gave me the desire to seek out camellia so when I came home of course I had to go and see what I could get here and I bought these two beautiful plants which I'm going to talk you through at the moment. Now the first one on my left is camellia lady masson and she is covered in these bouncy, flouncy pink flowers with yellow centres and I guess the real thing is that she's absolutely covered in these blooms from top to toe. Really spectacular. Now she reminds me of course of the reticulata camellias that I saw in the greenhouse in Germany which are tender. But the good news for Lady Masson is that she's not tender, she's a japonica, so it's one that I can plant in my garden. Now I am lucky, I have acid soil in my garden, so camellias do really well for me. But I'm going to put this one in a slightly sheltered position because, I mean, look at those flowers. A bit of wind and rain could absolutely wreak havoc with them. And actually, we had a bit of a snowstorm there recently, which has taken the edge off them. But if I put her in a shelter position, I'm sure she'll do really well. So, so I'm delighted with this and it's kind of, you know, it's a halfway house between buying something like the reticulata, which is incredibly tender, and trying to plant it somewhere in my greenhouse and having something that's very hardy. So I'm very pleased. Okay, so the next one over here is the white one. And this one has the most amazing flowers. And if you come in to have a look at that one there, it gives you an idea of just how fantastic these are. I mean, look at the symmetry in those flowers. It's really the Fibonacci formula in full action. It's so perfect and waxy and I, I don't know, it just seems almost artificial that um, it, it's so nice and the color as well the color is really really pure white which I could see when I saw this one in comparison to other white ones in the nursery they were large flouncier white ones and they just look dirty in comparison to the beautiful white of this so I had to take it home and um, I bought this one and brought it home and when I got home I realized that the name on the label was wrong so I don't know what the name of this one is so if anyone has an idea, then do please let me know. And it's a very funny story really, because originally I refused to buy the nicest camellia in the store because it didn't have a label on it. And then I went home and saw the error of my ways and decided to go back and buy her, but she was gone. So anyway, I ended up getting this one with the label, but it's the wrong label. So anyway, there's a lesson in there somewhere, I think. Okay, so that's the camellias and I'll enjoy finding somewhere to plant this one in the garden very soon. So the next one I want to tell you about is this tree here. And this is Davidia, which is also known as the handkerchief tree. And if I can find a non-copyright photograph on the internet, I'll put it in here somewhere so you can see what the flowers look like because they do look like handkerchiefs that kind of droop down like this and it's a very very attractive tree if you've ever seen one in full flower but the big downside with the Davidia is that normally it takes something like seven years to flower from seed so although I tried it from seed in the past I've been unsuccessful but still like the thought of seven years is a hell of a long time except that they've developed this particular variety which has as its advantage that it flowers while the plant is really really small. So that was exciting and not something I could get my hands on here in Ireland until my friend Dimitri from the Green Nerd channel 
found one and was kind enough to send one to me. So thank you so much Dimitri for such a wonderful present and I'll have fun citing this in the garden and planting it and it'll be a well a tree in my garden for Dimitri and I think that's so nice a thing about gardens that very often you know if you have a narrative behind plants and bushes and trees in your garden then whenever you're out there working or passing by they remind you of a person or a particular time and place and that's just kind of part of the enjoyment of it all so that's really good and the last thing I want to show you is Coronella Glauca, which is this beautiful pea, um, beautiful bush with pea-like flowers. And I know it might not look particularly amazing to you, but if you could get the scent from this one, it would absolutely knock your socks off. And that's why I love to have this bush in the greenhouse in winter because it flowers all through the winter with this amazing scent which is just exactly what you want. Now I did have another plant of it a while ago but I lost it um, due to lack of watering in winter which won't happen with this one. Very glad to get this one again. I think it's kind of a, a must-have for any large greenhouse. So that's my Coronilla Glauca and <sighs> It really smells of spring and the Mediterranean. And the most wonderful things that they can never manage to put in perfumes. I mean, if they could make perfumes that had these kind of amazing floral scents, I think, oh my goodness, well, I'd certainly use them all the time and pay a fortune for them. But they always have these horrible things that smell like, I don't know, cat piss or something. Anyway, okay, so <laughs> I think that's probably it. That's the end of my video on these new plants I have. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll check back for lots more gardening and greenhouse and plant-like videos. Bye for now.